Hurry up, coordinator. It's about to start. Yes. Cool. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't do that. Stop sneaking up on people like that. A billion years of evolution, and all you ever do is nag, nag, nag. <gasps> I, I can also flush, flush, flush you out the airlock if you talk all the way through again. Hi, my name's Danny, and this is my wonderful. I'm Sam. Oh, yeah, her best friend. As I was saying. I'm her best friend too, Toby. As I was saying, this is my show, Max. That's me. I'm a brother. Get out of it. And I'm his best friend, Ben. As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is my show. Oh, your show. My show. My show. My show. I wonder what the theme of this week's episode is going to be. Hi, I'm Danny and this is my house. The clue might be that Erdling Danny is dressed in a pirate's outfit. No, no, don't help me. I bet it's about plumbers. She's dressed as a pirate. It's a lumberjack theme, isn't it? No! Accountant? Oh. Window cleaners? Ah. Oh. This is me, Magna. Oh. Hi, I'm Danny, and this is my house. Well, technically it's my parents' house, but they're at a yoga class while well, I'm stuck here looking after the baby. <laughs> That baby, the baby from hell. And through here, this is my den. Great, isn't it? This is my sofa, and uh, that's a half-eaten sandwich. <laughs> and uh, these are my friends Toby and Sam. Say hello to the universe, Toby and Sam. Hello. Hello, Toby. Hello, Toby and Sam. Hello, hello half-eaten sandwich. <laughs> and that's the other half of the sandwich. Tell us again, why are we just like idiots? Yeah, that's seriously messing up my hair. You know, a lot of skill goes into making it look this good. What, the skill of dragging yourself backwards through a hedge? Ah, you're funny. I thought it would be fun when we have our pirate DVD marathon. Um, are those illegal? Not pirated DVDs, you fool. She means DVDs about pirates. Johnny Depp. Orlando Bloom. Pieces of Eight. Shiver Me Timbers. Is that something to do with lumberjacks? <laughs> No, you idiot. Pirates. Land away, Captain Brownbeard. Arr! First mate Tobias, hoist the main brace. Hoist the main brace, right your eye, Captain. <laughs> Remind me again, where is the main brace exactly? It's on the starboard side. Next to the missing mast. Missing mast, right. Sorry, which one's the starboard side again? The right side. My right or your right? It's near the poop deck. <laughs> the what deck? The poop deck. You're kidding, right? Avast G, make this scurvy dog walk with the plank master Samuel. I've had enough of his bug brain prattle. Oh, my pleasure, Captain. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I think I might need to visit the poop deck. <laughs> Coolest of the cool. They did whatever they wanted, went wherever they wanted, and wore the best clothes. Apparently. Oh, Max, this is my friend Ben. Say hello, Ben. What's up? <laughs> Oi, you, out of the Danny zone. Hey, this is my den too. What's up? What's up? What's up? up? Oh, I've got the material, I'll give them that. Max, get out, you're cramping my style. So speaks a girl with a dead bird on her shoulder. Do you want to reach your teens? Now shift it. I'll remember this when you need my help. <laughs> like that's ever going to happen. Come on, Ben. Let's go and spend some money and meet the pirates. They're scurvy. Yeah. What's scurvy? <laughs> Wish I could make that little squirt walk with Frank. That's no way to talk about Toby. He's not a dog. He doesn't need walking. <laughs> Be still, my aching sides. Oh, poor Toby. We shouldn't call him a plank. Ow. <laughs> Your big sister sucks. Tell me about it. Get out of the Danny zone! Never mind. 
the new football game is out on the Cyber Effect box today. And I just happen to have enough money saved to... There was nearly 50 quid in there. Where's it all gone? Maybe you could borrow some off your sister. Are you kidding? She's never got any... money. <laughs> has to come from the back of your throat. Try it. Oh. No, it's more like... Arrgh! Arrgh! <coughs> <coughs> Pay attention, you sharp as scurvy rascal. There's one thing pirates need. It's good eyesight. Now he's gonna have yourself an eye test. Who said that? <laughs> oh, who oh, were, Captain? Now, can you read the first here line on this eye chart? Ah. Uh, what about this next line? Ah. Ah. Third line. Ah. 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 Give me back my money! I know you stole it. How dare you! I borrowed it. Where is it? I spent it all. I'll pay you back eventually. I need it today. I'm a pirate, Max. This is what we do. Yeah, and what I do is demolish big sisters. These earth creatures are most primitive, coordinators, Ark. I can't believe they still resolve their disputes with violence. Awful. Yes. Awful. Would it be okay if I hit you? What? Just a bit. Why in the seven galaxies would you want to hit me? It's for an, um, report type of thing that I'm doing. What report? In, into, I don't know why, uh, violence is wrong. All right. There is no report. It's just watching all this human aggression is really getting me fired up. It's making me all raw, you know? Resist your urges, Coordinator Zark. Our species have lived a non-violent lifestyle for a thousand generations. We are a peaceful... Now do you see why this is wrong? Wrong and fun. Come on, man! Get off, off, guys! Really trying to make the nose not live. Pull her hair! Pull her hair! Toby! Sorry, I got caught up in the moment. Guys, come on, break it up. You never know who's watching. You lay another finger on me and I'll make sure you're grounded forever. Yeah, and how are you going to do that? I'll tell Mum and Dad you swore at me. And I'll tell them you're a liar. Who do you think they're going to believe? Me, who's twice as old, twice as responsible and twice as smart as you'll ever be? Or you, the boy who cried for a week when he read the last Harry Potter book? Oh. Come on, Ben. We're out of here. Parts are stupid anyway. I don't think that was a bit much in front of his friend. Yeah, you did plunder his booty. Bloody Max, he's plankton. I heard that. Doc! That's a power! <laughs> For a minute there, I thought something really bad was going to happen. This is Mum's favourite vase. Grand left it to her in her will. Oh, 
this is all your fault, Max. You are in so much trouble. But Danny, you're the responsible one and you're in charge when it happened. So technically, it's all your fault. Get out now before I break you two. Is this your power? <laughs> Seriously, Mum is going to do her now. You have no idea how much this vase means to her. Meant to her, surely. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> Stealing my money. Insulting me. She's not gonna get away with this, Ben. We need to strike her where it hurts. Her nose? We have to think up a revenge so sweet that it hurts. Sweet, eh? We could feed her sugar until her teeth turn black, so she gets toothache and she has to have all of her teeth pulled out. So all she can eat is mushed up, mush, mush, mush. Sweet as in... Evil. Evil and brilliant. She seems to be quite into pirates. Maybe a pirate-themed revenge? I've got it! She likes pirates so much, I'll give her a pirate-themed revenge. Wicked! <laughs> I don't even know what we're laughing. <laughs> If I don't get this vase fixed, my life is as good as over. Can you keep an eye on the baby for a bit? <laughs> Two eyes, even. But great, thanks. <laughs> really appreciate it. But Danny, back in 10, maybe 20, 40 at the most. Right, I want to see what Danny's up to. Oh, no, you don't. I'm dealing with that thing on my own. <laughs> oh. Oh, gross. It's perfectly natural, Toby. It's an expelling of gases which build up in the digestive tract. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my. OK, I take it back. That is anything but natural. Somebody's teething. <laughs> Coordinator Zang, I think there's something wrong with our audio feed and our televisualizer. It's making a terrible noise. Oh, that noise is coming from what the humans call a baby coordinator Zach. Is it broken? I believe not. Personally, I actually find the noise quite soothing. Really? Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. OK, uh, your sign says you do invisible mending. That's right, we can mend anything here and you'll never be able to tell it was broken. Great! Do you think you'll be able to fix this? Ooh, that really is broken. It won't be cheap. You see, that's the problem. I'm broke too. Bit of a cash flow crisis. I don't suppose there's any chance of a freebie. Pretty please, with sprinkles on top. Well, as you are so nicely. I think I might be able to manage a freebie. Give me a few seconds. All finished. Well? Well, here you go. Well, where's the vase? It's right in front of you. I'm holding it. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, invisible mending. Are you trying to tell me you made the vase invisible? And you'll never be able to tell it was broken. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. That's not funny. Here's your broken vase back. If you want me to fix it, you're going to have to pay me with sprinkles on top. But I don't have any money. Well, get a job. Now, good day to you, young lady. Or is it good night? Uh, uh. 
Tons. Tons. Wipes. Wipes. Fifty cc's of talcum powder. Fifty cc's of talcum powder. <laughs> hey guys, guys, you'll never guess what we just found. It's a treasure map. Oh, what's that smell? Toby. <laughs> what you found, Max? A genuine antique pirate treasure map. Found it in the attic, inside an old chest. Well, anyway, it's very pretty and stuff, but I don't suppose it's of use to anyone, so I'll just put it in the bin. Old. Hang on. Where's the baby? What do you mean, where's the baby? Well, see you a second ago. Well, he can't have gone far. It's vanished. Are you telling me there's baby loose in this house? Yes. And it's not wearing a nappy. Welcome to Happy Big Burger, where the burgers actually beg to be cooked. Um, I saw your advert in the window. Is there still a vacancy? When can you start? Immediately. The job is yours. Don't you want to interview me or anything? That won't be necessary. Brothers and sisters, we have a new convert. Bid welcome to Sister... Uh, Danny. Bid welcome to Sister Daddy. Welcome, welcome to Sister Daddy. Danny. This is a burger bar, right? Indeed, sister. We worship the Holy Trinity. Burger, fries, and shake. Say it with me now, brothers and sisters. We put the duck in the burger and the cheese on the burger and the burger in the bun. Praise be. I'm talking about the burger, sister daddy. I'm talking about the ultimate food. I'm talking about the burgers, the fries, the delicious vanilla shake. Let me hear you say, give me a bat. Give me a bat. Let me hear you say, slap on some cheese! Slap, slap on some cheese! cheese. Um, can I just ask a couple of questions? Go ahead. Firstly, are you all mad? Yes. I thought so. And uh, secondly, when do I get paid? We don't get paid at Happy Big Burger. We work for the love. The love of our beloved Big Burger. Praise the burger! 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 Praise it. I am in so much trouble. This is really interesting, you know. Yeah, so I was looking for a lost baby, you know, I could really do with a hand, so. No vase, no job, no money. Mum and Dad are going to explode. What's up? Nothing, the baby's fine. I never said it wasn't. You tried looking down the back of the sofa? What was that? Uh. Have you tried looking for money down the back of the sofa? I'm always finding money down the back of the sofa. What? A hundred odd quid's worth? Because that's how much it's going to cost to get this bars fixed. Toby, what are you doing? Um, nothing. I had an itchy face. So I, I, I was scratching it. <laughs> On the carpet? Yeah. Hey, look what we found. It's a treasure map. What, seriously? Seriously, it was up in the attic. Max found it. Right, Max. You probably just bought it from some joke shop. I think it may be the real deal, though. Yeah, uh, he didn't even want it. Uh, he, just, he just threw it in the bin. I guess it does look pretty authentic. There are a series of clues written around the edge, which I think point to there being treasure buried right underneath the garage floor. Oh, come on. Well, this house is pretty old. The map could have been here a couple of hundred years. Right, and uh, Max just happened to find it today. Danny, you could be standing on a fortune. I could afford to get that vase mended. Well, look at charm.
What? We've all done it. Well, the map says the treasure's buried underneath the garage floor. Danny, think about this. You're the one that said there's treasure. That doesn't mean you have to dig it up right this second. Or what are your parents going to say when they've found you've dug a big hole in their garage? Could be worse if they come home and find that vase still broken. What if there isn't any treasure under there? What if I'm wrong? Well, that's been known to happen. Then we've got the beginnings of a great new indoor swimming pool. Look, guys, think about it. We could be standing on a fortune. But I'm not getting the blame if there isn't. And if there is buried treasure, we're going to be rich and famous. What you, Samantha? How you doing, darling? What are you and how do you get in here? Daniel Scribbler, Daily Filth. Now, since we're coming mega rich, what have you spent your money on? Ferrari? Mansion? Hypersonic helicopter? I just bought a rare couple of first editions, darling, and gave the rest to charity. I'll write down hypersonic helicopter. That's not what I said. What happened to you? Nothing. You've been spending your money on plastic surgery again, darling. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Smart, Topster. I am smart. <laughs> Whoa. I still don't think this is a good idea. Nor me, Danny. And, and I don't just mean because I might get mud on my trainers. Ah! There's mud on my trainers. Come on, guys, think pirate. What would Johnny Depp do? Stand around looking cool and dreamy? <laughs> we were born to do this. Wouldn't it be better just to own up and face the music? I'm not taking the blame. This all started because of Max getting in my face. It started because you broke a vase. <sighs> because he attacked me. Because you stole his money. Look, all I'm saying is maybe you ought to accept a teensy weensy equal bitty witty bit of the blame. Perhaps? Maybe? Danny? Fine. If you guys don't want to help, I'll do it on my own. Oh, Danny. Don't be like that. Just don't think I'm sharing the fame of fortune with you. Looks like we're off the crew. Guys, wait, I'm sorry. <sighs> that sounded like something hard. You know what that sound is, don't you, Ben? Geese? It's the sound of revenge. Just an old map printed out from the internet. A few alterations made to look as if the treasure is buried beneath our house, and then the careful application of some household tea to age it. Voila! One instant pirate treasure map. You're a genius, Max. That I am. And now for the cherry on my trifle of revenge. I step in and offer my assistance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I attacked you, and I'm sorry for screaming. Apology accepted. What are the humans doing now? I think they're having something called a... a water fight? A water fight, hey? Fun! Water fight is a serious fun! <laughs> The water stopped. I wonder why it's suddenly drier in here. How's my hair? Damp. Just emerged from the ocean. Like some rugged stud muff and surfer do damp. More like just drowned in a puddle sort of damp. Oh. Well, well. Water mess is in here. Get it? Water mess? Water mess? Anyone? I don't need you in here gloating, Max. I came to help. You? Yep. In fact, it was me who turned off the water. Why would you do that? 
I hardly need your drowning on my conscience. Why would it be on your conscience? Because I forged the treasure map. <gasps> I knew it! <laughs> All right, I didn't know it. Now, who's the smarter one? Say it. Say I'm smarter than you. Fine. I'll just go and turn on the water again. All right. You're smarter than me. Now admit you underestimated me. Underestimated you? I can't hear you. I underestimated you! <laughs> Great. Now we can discuss how I'm going to lend you the money to fix the vase you broke. But I took all your money. Danny, Danny, Danny. Do you seriously think I'm going to leave all my piggy banks where you can find them? I'll lend you the money on one condition. I know I'm going to regret this. What's up? <laughs> on one hand, my brother may be annoying, but at least he paid to get the vase fixed. On the downside, I have to pay him back with interest by letting him have the den for the rest of the day. What's up? Oh, Captain. Oh, there's something wrong with this here telescope. Try another line. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's better. Too soon. Right, Max, time's up. We want this den back to how it was. Get lost, Danny, we're not done. Uh, yes, you are. Show. What we saw of it. We're meant to be superior beings that you are more interested in fighting. It's not my fault. I'm easily influenced by what I watch. <laughs> What's on the other side? A sport the humans call boxing. Great! Let's give it a go.